Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Kingsley Gate Partners in the Spotlight series. Today, we are delighted to be joined by Yen Li. Yen has been a tech entrepreneur who has co-founded three startups and been fortunate enough to have helped to disrupt the local, travel, and commerce industries. Yen is currently the Chief Strategy Officer at JLLT, the technology division of JLL, which we all know is a Fortune 500 company focused on commercial real estate. Yen is helping lead the digital transformation of JLL in various roles, including driving alignment of strategic priorities, team building, partnerships, and as interim GM of JLLT China. Welcome, Yen. Thank you. Thanks for making time and glad to be here. Absolutely. Um, so let's dive in, Yen. Commercial real estate is not an area that immediately comes to mind when one thinks of digital transformation. Yet, there's quite a lot of disruption happening in that space, which very few of us actually are privy to. Evolving trends in the future of work, the hybrid workplace. Can you tell us more about the opportunity that this represents, the problems you're looking to solve, and what might the future state look like? Yeah, I'd be happy to, Sanjay. Uh, you know, yes, CRE doesn't jump out as a transformation play because despite uh, commercial real estate or CRE for short, being a 30 plus trillion dollar sector, um, CRE uh, today is really like travel was in the, in the late 90s, right? So, you know, the process of buying or, or finding new office, retail or industrial space is pretty much unchanged. For example, if you uh, wanted to find a new office for uh, Kingsley, Kingsley Gate and ask for your, uh, your, your leasing broker for help, you know, the poor broker would only have access to some, uh, not, not all the listings. Their process is still really manual with only part, part of the information available. Um, uh, and and in-person visits are still um, very much part of the norm. And most everything is paper-based, including appraisals and contracts, et cetera. As we think about the future state, we are, you know, that we're developing towards now, I can't predict what it'll be exactly, but we're pretty sure it's based on, you know, a few basics that we're all used to. Comprehensive, high quality and real time data, mm -hmm. AI driven uh, analytics and all of that delivered with a much better UX, probably, including mobile um, and automation. Um, you know, just as an example. So taking that leasing example, you know, our vision is to turbocharge our, our brokers by arming them with a comprehensive database of all the offices that are available today. Oh, and by the way, the ability to predict what will be available soon. Um, the data on recent rental prices, local public transit, restaurants, and other amenities. The ability to map current employees' uh, commute times, the proximity and attractiveness for future talent acquisition, i.e., other employers with functional talent pools that uh, you know that that, um, uh, that our clients interested in videos and walkthrough experiences to save the you know, the client time and in person visits and finally everything available um, real time through uh, mobile UX or desktop UX um, so that both the client and the broker can see everything. And Sanjay, I guess I've been fortunate enough to be involved in a in a number of other industry transformations and local. Um, travel and commerce and we're early really early in CRE so I think about we're sort of the stage where we're still focused on doing what we do better rather than inventing um, uh, new things so using travel as a metaphor it's kind of like the late night you know sort of late 90s when Travelocity initially made booking flights much easier than using a physical travel agent CRE is like that, mid 90s, late 90s, rather than um, even, you know, when TripAdvisor created the hotel review platform in 02 and 03, or when Airbnb created a whole new world of lodging alternatives for us in 2008, 2009. Wow. So this is literally touching the entire spectrum and ecosystem of commercial real estate. Um, yeah. Let's. Let's dive into the geographic aspects of this, Yen. Um, JLLT and JLL, the parent company, very, very global organization. You have a presence of clients in more than 130 countries. 
what global geographies are ripe for commercial real estate transformation and how are you at JLLT prioritizing that approach? Yeah, that's a great question. We spent a lot of time thinking about it. To answer the first part of your question, Yes, uh, commercial real estate is largely driven by uh, global capital flow. So we're seeing uh, the opportunity of transformation everywhere. And so there's really increasing demand for commercial property technology or prop tech is the slang um, globally. And JLL is truly global with 18 billion in revenue and 100,000 employees. Um, in 100 countries. So we have a bifurcated approach. So one is we're absolutely building global scalable product platforms. However, we also know that we have to localize mm -hmm. for the largest and most unique markets. And historically, um, the traditional MNC approach has been to lift and shift. And what that means is, you know, taking what works in the home country, usually the US and moving it to a new market. That usually works very well for initial market entry, but it almost never scales, especially for those big unique markets like uh, unique markets and unique regulatory environments like Brazil, India, Japan, and China. So our approach has been to lift and localize. And you know the nuance there is important in that lifting and localizing means making the investment to really understand the local customer needs and competition, market trends, regulations, and then having the courage to make the, the big investment to build a local team and give them the autonomy so they can be agile and develop their own products or to assess global best practices, uh, what we have from the global product suite and, um, and then customizing it, customizing the product, customizing the go-to-market, customizing the business models and finding local partners. You know, it's... Um, it requires a significant commitment and patience, but it really is the only proven way to build successful local business for these unique large large geographies, um, and to create the only really way only real way to create long term long term shareholder value. I like that a lot. Taking global best practices and localizing it to the geography of focus. So. Um, Lastly, Yen, let's talk about the approach to digital transformation that you're taking. I understand that JLLT is taking a differentiated product-based approach to digital transformation. So looking at the recent acquisition of Hank, which is an AI-powered virtual engineering platform for buildings, as an example. Can you expand on that approach a little bit? Yeah, happy to. Uh, you know, for for pretty much the whole leadership team at JLLT, including myself, this is our first digital transformation. And so uh, I, we spent a lot of time up front researching best practices, mistakes to avoid, and how to custom, and, and how we wanted to customize those best practices for JLL. And it's only been three years, but um, we think that um, uh, we've got sort of a three-pronged approach that we think is working pretty, pretty well. So the first is uh, double the fun, right? So we have two goals. One is delivering the data and technology that our traditional JLL business, the $18 billion mothership, um, uh, what, what, uh, what the mothership needs um, to deliver better client experiences. The second, um, uh, the second goal there is to, that we're building a standalone technology business where we're selling uh, directly to technology customers. So that's one, uh, one part of our approach. The second is that as you, as you um, mentioned, we're taking a traditional software product approach rather than a conventional mm -hmm. digital um, transformation approach where it's a local business manager funding a project. Um, the IT manager um, usually hires contractors. They may develop it in-house, but the solution is developed for a particular business need. It's not built to be scalable. We're turning on its head, traditional software approach. And then the third is where Hank fits in. We're pretty agnostic about how we deliver our technology. So we pair our organic product development with a full spectrum of investment and partnership options, including M&A. So, um, we're fortunate to have the support of JLL's really robust balance sheet, and we accelerate our organic uh, product building 
product development with, uh, with first, we have um, Spark X, an incubator. We have a um, very, very successful early stage prop tech fund, Spark. Uh, we do late stage investing in growth stage companies. We have a lot of reseller, um, successful reseller and strategic partnership agreements. And we make uh, both acquihires and acquisitions. And that's where Hank fits in. There's, you know, uh, when we find a great team that's got product market fit, that fits what our client needs are, and we believe we can plug them into the, the big JLL, um, uh, you know, the, the JLL distribution and brand, um, we don't hesitate to add those teams and those products to our global product suite. Great. And for funds you talked about like Spark, it's not just going to be North American focused. That would also extrapolate to other geos over time? Uh, absolutely. Stay tuned. There's uh, a, a few exciting announcements coming over the next couple of months about how we're globalizing um, uh, our early stage prop tech investing and a number of other successful US-based uh, approaches um, and localizing them for uh, other countries globally. Exciting, we shall stay tuned. Great, great, thank you. This ends our first segment. We want to keep it short and sweet. The second segment is gonna be more around the people aspect of real estate technology. But Yen, thank you very much. We appreciate your perspectives and your time. Look forward to connecting again. Thank you, and um, thank you know, um, thank you, and thanks Kingsley uh, Gate for the help uh, finding the talent to execute on on our strategy. Love to do it. Thank you. 